Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, Go So Beautiful. My name's Becky and it's time for another episode of Friday Sews. Shout out to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for creating the hashtag Friday Sews for sewing vloggers and YouTubers to, to show things they've been working on in the sewing room and a little bit about life. We really um, enjoy this community of sewists and um, love sharing things with you each Friday. So I took a little bit longer than I planned to make this video. <laughs> I planned to do it earlier in the week, but um, things just got in the way, and I'll talk about a little bit about that later. But um, by the way, I'm wearing a Me Made. This is a McCall's t-shirt pattern, and these are the bottoms of the Love Notions Sunday romper. I had made an entire romper and decided I didn't like taking it on and off with the shorts so I just made shorts out of the bottom half and I added a skirt to the top and made a dress. I did want to show you I had said I was going to be making the Made by Ray washi dress for a wedding that I had to go to and here it is. I think I really like the way it came out um, with a few little exceptions and I'll show you some pictures of me wearing it. Um, I did put elastic in the back as opposed to the elastic shearing which is shown in the pattern. And um, in the front it's got um, two little pleats on each side. It's an empire waist. And you have a choice of doing a scoop neck like this, or you can do a little cutout. And they also um, have an expansion pack to make a collar on the dress and um, a shawl collar with a, a neck, like a necktie. And it's also called a trillium dress. So if you go to Made by Ray Patterns, um, you will see the washi dress pattern along with the trillium pattern. Um, I bought mine as a kit um, a few, several years ago from Craftsy. And um, I just thought it was a cute dress. And um, the, this is the pattern right here. And mine came with um, a different fabric. I'll show that maybe on a, a later post, but it's a little bit too small for me now, so, um, but I did enjoy wearing it. I love the style and the silhouette. I feel very pretty and think it's very flattering to my figure, and um, I wore it to the wedding. I got quite a few compliments, so that's always um, fun to have. Now, the things that um, I did notice, and I'll show you this um, in a picture, the bust darts are kind of high um, on me, and I didn't realize it until after I made it. And um, the pattern actually has you, instead of just folding the fabric and then stitching it together, you actually cut it and then put it together and stitch it to a point. So, um, and I kind of thought about it when I was making it. Should I really cut this out? and? Um, I went ahead and did it because that's the way the pattern showed it and I thought it would be less bulky. Well, as you can see in the picture, the, bat, the bust darts are a little too high. So next time I'll just lower that dart a little bit. Um, but other than that, it fits great. Um, the neckline isn't too low for my comfort. Sorry, isn't too low for my level of comfort. Um, but it is, you know, a nice open neckline and you can wear pretty jewelry with it. Um, this dress I would probably rate as um, 
advanced beginner. If you've ever done any shirring, um, which is really easy to do, um, that's probably the most complicated thing. Um, it does have a facing for the neckline. As you can see, and I for once remembered to put my label in here. And the sleeves are kind of interesting. They're these little cap sleeves, but they are enclosed with bias binding. So um, if you haven't sewn bias binding, that might be a little bit challenging for you. Um, but it's really not that hard of a dress, I don't think. It does have nice side pockets. And, um, oh, I forgot to mention one other little thing. As I was cutting this fabric out, I was so pleased with how I was lining everything up. And I had cut out both skirts. And I got to cutting out the bodice. And I laid the pattern on it and I realized, wait a minute, all of these stems and leaves are going in one direction. <laughs> so the bottom of the dress has the stems um, and leaves. It, it's upside down, okay? But rather than, I only fretted about it for a little bit because I thought, you know, the pattern is so busy, I don't think people are gonna notice. And I did manage to cut the bodice out the right with them pointing upwards. So um, unless you sew, you're probably not going to notice that the flowers are upside down. Anyway, I'm still very pleased with the dress. I think the cotton, this is just a kind of a, I don't know if it's a quilting cotton. I bought it at Hobby Lobby. I'm pretty sure it's an apparel cotton, but it's not super soft. So the next time I make this, I'm going to try and find something a little bit softer. Okay, the next thing I worked on, I had mentioned this also, was my new favorite pants pattern from Helen's Closet. And I don't have the instructions. Here they are. Helen's Closet Arden Pants. And if you have been watching me, you know that I did a collaboration with Izzy from Dizzy Quilts and Sews because she said this was one of her favorite patterns. And now it's one of my favorite patterns. Um, my first version I made in some white cotton sheeting and made these really pretty beach pants, beach style pants. And then I bought this um, linen fabric from Fabrics store.com and this was actually a piece they had um, I guess it was discounted some because it was like the end of the bolt but there was two and a half yards and um, I hadn't bought any linen from them before so I thought I'd give it a try I believe I forget what the uh, the order number is but they have um, I guess different weights of linen I think this is a medium weight but it's still very lightweight. I mean, you can't see through it really, but it's very lightweight, very drapey. I'll put some pictures of me wearing it. And um, I put it on with this little ready to wear top, which I got at a discount store. And it's just like a, a double knit with kind of a, some kind of rayon slub. Anyway, it's very comfortable, very cute, and I vowed, since I liked it so much, that I was going to use it as a pattern to make another shirt to go with it. But these colors blend so well with the, uh, this is called natural, I believe, that um, I had to wear it. And since fall is coming, although it still feels like it's biz well, it's the dog days of summer is what they call it. Anyway, it's super hot. And um, these pants are a little baggy, but 
being linen and wanting to wear them in the summertime, they're perfect. You know, a nice breeze comes along and you don't, you just don't get too hot in them. Um, it is top stitched on the center front crotch and back crotch. And um, also on the inner leg seam, they recommend you do that. And then just down um, to the bottom of the side um, pocket. And I think I, I may have stretched this pocket out a little bit. I don't know. Anyway, um, it does have patch pockets that you can sew on the back. but And I did initially sew them on. But I'll show you a picture. They didn't look so great. So um, I took them off. And you can see why. Um, and in taking them off, though, my seam ripper kind of slipped because this this is difficult to take the stitches out of because the linen is um, kind of a loosely woven texture. Anyway, I made a tiny little hole there and I've put a little bit of interfacing on one side and just zigzag stitched it with some thread. I don't think you can see it. Um, you know, it's always disappointing when you do something like that in, in a garment that you love. But, um, you know, I think I might even put a regular patch there eventually. But for now, I don't think it's going to matter. Um, other things about the pockets. This um, pattern has 5 8 inch seam allowance, which is, I think, about 10... 10 millimeters or one centimeter and it says 5 8 inch except where noted well when I made the pockets I made 5 8 inch turned them under and it turns out you're only supposed to turn it under half inch so they were a little bit smaller which may have contributed to the way they looked but I wish why change the seam allowance for one little area if it's not necessary. I mean, yes, it's important to read the directions, but I've sewn on a bazillion patch pockets and I've made a bazillion patch pockets. Why change the seam allowance? Anyway, I could take it apart and redo it, but I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> so, Helen, if you're watching, I do love your patterns, but I wish you would have left the seam allowances all the same. Okay. So, what else is going on? Oh, I've just got my usual uh, million projects. One million projects. Isn't there a movie or something about one million whatever? Anyway, um, as far as life goes, I mentioned I have plantar fasciitis. I've been doing my exercises faithfully. It has not gotten a whole lot better, but I will continue. It does slow me down. Makes it difficult to go grocery shopping, among other things. But I did get some swimming in, and I've got a little stationary bicycle. Just a little, it's actually just a set of pedals. It doesn't even have a seat. And it, you can use it to exercise your arms or your feet. So I've been doing that, trying to... Um, keep up with my stretching and um, so forth. Um, but I do appreciate everyone who commented um, that has had experience with it. Um, one, one precious um, viewer told me she could only wear Crocs. So aren't these the cutest? Um, and they're very comfortable. They actually make it a little bit easier to walk. So I figured that was good enough excuse. I have a medical reason for buying another pair of shoes. <laughs> um, and that was good enough for me. So um, the question that Jen posed for this week's Friday Sewers is, what is your favorite thing to sew? And I think my favorite thing to sew is probably going to be I don't know if she said garment or not, but I love sewing 
dresses, whether, and I actually love sewing woven dresses and knit dresses. Knit dresses because usually they're pretty quick and easy and woven dresses because they just, that fabric just behaves most of the time. You don't have, you know, too many problems with it. It irons nicely and, um, you know, if you make a mistake and you're careful, you can usually pick it out and fix it. So um, that's my favorite thing to sew. Leave me a comment below and let me know what your favorite thing is to sew. I really appreciate everyone watching and tuning in, and I hope you're having a good week. So please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and you'll see more videos um, when I post them. Thanks again for watching. Go so beautiful. Bye-bye.